Hey guys, it's Nick here. I know you haven't heard from me in a while, but with everyone told, being told to stay at home, I figured now would be a great time to try and connect with you guys. This is the last time you saw me make a video. Uh, I've been going through a lot of struggling times with anxiety, sadness, and, and overall just kind of poor things in my life. I've been going through a lot of pain most days, and everyone with everyone practicing social distancing, as you should, my need for social interactions and lack of getting them, I guess, uh, has been really bad for my mental health. And recently, I've been noticing an increase in my kind of frequency of bad days over like decent days. And something I always enjoyed doing was creating. You know, I've been making YouTube videos for God knows how long. Jeez. Um, <laughs> uh, and I don't have much of a desire to play any video games uh, right now. Um, you know, I deleted pretty much all the games on my phones and stuff like that. Really poor timing for that. I did it right before the quarantine started. <laughs> um, but I figured I'd pull out the old camera and talk to you guys. It's important that while physically you should be keeping your distance, I encourage you all to reach out to those close to you. Um, give them a call or better yet, video call them. Um, you know, you can pull up, uh, I don't know, does anyone still use Skype? I don't know. You can use Facebook, um, Snapchat, uh, Zoom, you know, whatever whatever one you want to use, um, FaceTime, you know, things like that. Um, you can, you know, take your friends on little virtual dates. I know it sounds corny, but um, it really does help. It helped me. Um, it's no substitution for actually getting to spend time with your friends, um, in my opinion, but uh, we work with what we've got. Um, I hope you're all doing your best and making good use of your time, whether that's being creative, relaxing, or for all you underpaid essential workers, staying safe. Um, I appreciate everything you're doing. I work in a care facil facility myself, um, so I'm an essential worker. I'm still going to work. Uh, my hours have been cut a little bit. Got to take care of those people. You know, It's been a really scary and confusing last two months for them. Um, the thought of one of them getting sick or there being an outbreak in, in my building is honestly terrifying to me um, because they are, you know, at, at the most risk. I think it, from the statistic I've seen, statistics, statistics, a hard word, you know, it's that over 60 demographic. And then like as they get older, it's like even worse and worse, you know. It doesn't look good for them. You know, we've uh, we've got them quarantined to their rooms. Um, you know, they're only a couple of them are allowed to kind of roam around the building and go outside and stuff like that. Um, just a couple of them at a time. Um, and I can't imagine, you know, what that's what that's doing to them. You know, um, so the most interaction I get with them now is I, when I deliver their food. You know, I take a couple steps back. You know, try and make, maintain that six feet and you know get a quick hello in. You know, make sure they're doing okay. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'm feeding a hundred plus people every meal, not a whole lot of time to do it. So I don't really get a whole lot of time to chit chat. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and ask, you know, what you're doing to fill your time. You know, are you getting creative? Are you sleeping all day? Finally getting those chores or projects that you've been putting off done. I don't just let me know in the comments, what you guys have been up to. I'm going to make sure to reply to all you guys. Not like I have a whole lot of other things to do right now. Anyway, <laughs> thanks everyone. Stay safe. And hopefully we can talk soon.